okay so in this video i'll show you how you can create a custom hook to fetch data from an api using react okay so we'll be uh, so basically you know that when you are fetching data from an api you usually write the data fetching logic so you can either use axios or fetch api and then you fetch the data and then you format it and then display in the scheme so basically here in this example what we will do is that we will create a custom hook and we will store that data fetching logic inside that custom hook and then we can use that custom hook anywhere in the application wherever we need to fetch the data okay so using this we can achieve the code reusability so let's see how we can do that so in this case we will be creating a custom hook known as use fetch okay so let's start so here is the api uh, this is the api that we will be using so this this api endpoint basically it returns us uh, random jokes about chuck norris so you can see in the value property you are getting a joke so if you refresh it it will give you another joke okay, so we will be using this api to face the data so here i have created a blank react application using vite and i have started the local server okay so here it is running the local server so first of all we need to create a file known as use fetch use fetch.js so here is the name of that custom hook that we will be creating so you can give it any name whatever you want but it is highly recommended that whatever name you give to that custom hook it should be starting with the keyword use okay so if you know you already know that inside the custom hook we use the other existing hooks okay like the use state use effect all those things we use them inside the custom hook okay so let's start and this hook will take a parameter known as url so which will be our api endpoint okay now we want the custom hook to return three things that is uh, the data that is that is the api response and we also want to send uh, like we want to send the loading state okay so if it is loading and also want to send the error so if any error happened or anything like that so let's see Okay, so from this use fetch hook, we will be returning three parameters. One is the data loading and the error. Now inside the use fetch hook, we will be using, uh, we will be, you know, basically using use effect hook. And inside that, we will write the logic for the data fetching. Okay, and here we will pa we'll pass a dependency array known as URL. So basically when the URL changes, we want this function to run. So basically here inside that we will uh, write some data fetching logic. So here I am using fetch API but you can use Axios as well. And we will wrap that inside a try cache block. Okay, so here we have handled the error. So basically, if there is some error, then we will stop that loading state and we will populate the error through a new error there. Okay, and yeah, it is done. So it looks like it is done. And uh, yeah, it is done. So then we have to return. Okay, so we want to return the data loading and error. So we will uh, return an object from this function and we will pass this thing, three things here. So we we'll pass data loading and error okay so we have passed that and now we can so basically here you can actually instead of hard coding you have to pass that url here okay okay so now you can use that here so here let's import that use fetch and inside that we can uh, use fetch hook here okay so let's see
now we will extract different parameters like yeah so we'll we have extracted different parameters like data loading and error from this response okay now we will conditional we will use conditional rendering so basically if uh, loading is true then we want to return the loading and now when everything is all right we can return that data that means we will return that data so we'll return that here okay so yeah let's check in the code if it is working or not all right so let me refresh that data and uh, looks like there is some problem it is saying that uh, cannot read properties of null okay so value is not readable here so data okay let me check what we have in that data okay yeah so if we refresh that inside that data we have a value okay so let's clear so yeah looks like it is working yeah so is, is, you can see like whenever you are refreshing the page so basically it is fetching a new joke and it is showing us so this is how you can use that like you can use uh the you can create a custom data fetching loop so yeah so basically what we have done so we have three parameters data loading and error and then we are uh here we are writing the data fetching logic and after that we are returning that the data loading and error so let me do one thing here so we are returning three parameters but suppose we want to create like we want to return like suppose we have that joke okay so suppose we want to fetch a new joke so how can we do that so, so for that we have to create a new uh, like we have to return a new method from here from this use fetch hook so let's do that okay so i think i can just create a function here refetch uh, joke and i think i can use that code here this code we copy that and let me paste it inside that okay refetch and now i think we can return this here and now suppose here i want to uh, create a button that button whenever we will click on that button a new joke will be fetched okay so we'll create i'll add a one click handler here and that will basically uh okay so you have to import the refetch here okay so let's see so now if we see it is showing this joke now if we click on the fetch joke yeah so now you can see if we click on the fetch joke it is uh it is basically fetching as a new joke so this is how you can create a custom you know custom hook in react and that can be used to fetch data this is a, so here we, in this case we had used the we had created a custom hook known as use fetch custom hook and using that uh, we see how you can fetch data from an api using react custom hook okay so looks like it is working fine you can click on fetch joke it will fetch a new joke but there is one problem that means uh so basically the issue is uh so basically when you are clicking on the fetch joke it is showing as it is fetching the new joke but it is not showing the loading animation okay so by the time the joke appears we want a loading animation to be shown in the screen so let's see how we can do that so actually we have created already created this loading parameter so we want we want to use that so i just checked in that code so in this use fetch we did a mistake not a mistake but we missed one thing so basically what we want to do is that you can see the loading the value of the loading is false now just before we want to start the data fetching process we want to set its parameter to true so let's do that so set loading is uh, true 
so i make i made it true and now when there is some error it is false and when the data is completed that is also it is false okay and inside there also i will be making set loading as uh, true okay now let's see now if we refresh the screen and if we yeah so you can see whenever we are fetching data when we are fetch, clicking on fetching joke it is showing us that loading animation and when the joke has been arrived then we are showing the screen so this is a better user experience so yeah so using this so using like that you can create a custom hook using react to fetch the data okay so yeah that's all thanks for watching